What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to level 4 of the Disorder campaign where we get to play from the orcs' perspective and as you can see we're starting with no bank at all which makes this level pretty annoying to work with but um, I'm going to tell you now that there is an easy way and there is a hard way in order to complete this level the hard way is the conventional way of making lots of units and just steamrolling the rest of the map as the Eldar units aren't as strong and they aren't as plentiful as well. The other option that we have is the easy way out, which is exactly what we're going to be going for, and you might actually laugh at the idea how, of how easy this level becomes once once you attain to this. So, um, first, first thing is first, we're not really going to be focusing on getting our listening post up and running just yet. What we want to do is we want to rush this location as quickly as we possibly can, because that is where uh, the Eldar base is located and this Eldar base needs to be destroyed before they start teleporting to the top location so basically we are running on a bit of a timer and um, time is of the essence we don't even have to worry about the land raider to be honest the important one is the Eldar base you can take care of these listening shrines for later on it might become handy um, Getting aggression is going to be good, but for now, let's just bank our requisition up in order to replace any fallen units like our knobs. And uh, yeah, we need to get there quickly before they relocate their base. We are going to be facing some Wraith Lords along the way. The War Tracks are incredibly good at taking them down due to their speed. And you can also use your War Boss in order to tank a lot of the damage. So let's take this listening post because there will be a Wraith Lord located right over here. So let's use our mobility to our advantage. And of course, hoping that they will shoot accurately. Perfect. Making good progress thus far. Next step is taking down this listening shrine over here. And then we're gonna have two big ones, or three big ones to take down over here along with an Eldar army as well. Save our wad just for a moment longer, we're gonna need it very soon. Here's a location that we can take over later on, but for now don't venture into that area because there is a Wraith Lord along with a couple of Warp Spiders and the Warp Spiders are incredibly effective against all infantry type units. So we're just going to sneak past this path and uh, head straight to the Listening Shrine over here. Don't go too far with your vehicles because there are Vipers that are effective against stuff like War Tracks. But War Tracks are also effective against them, so it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Nonetheless, we want to keep our war tracks functional for a little while longer. Just focus fire this thing. See if we can bait that thing to come and play afterwards. See if it's gonna take the bait. Huh, guess not. Okay, um... We should focus fire that one on that side as well, and then just move in for the kill. We can actually use our war tracks right now in order to take this thing down. Hopefully they shoot accurately enough. While we focus fire this uh, heavily fortified listening shrine. Oh, okay, yeah, so far so good. That thing on the other hand should be taken care of. Um, we might have a little bit of a problem with him where he's going to be destroying some of our buildings. We'll have to use our war tracks for now in order to do damage here and then we'll send them back afterwards. We are going to be losing a couple of buildings. We need to make peace with that, but we don't particularly need those buildings anyways. We can start making our first Gretchen. And we're still on time. We're still on time. Actually, in fact, we can send our war tracks back now in order to go and take down that Viper. Maybe we even save that building on time. 
And uh, on the positive side, we have accomplished the first part of the orc objective. Focus fire the aspect portals, keep them from making units, and then just take down the webway assembly. I wouldn't just just ignore the Red Lord. Focus on the webway assembly so that we can win this. We can lose all of those units for all that I care. It's it's not important. Okay. Now we can start focusing on building our listening posts. And then it's a little bit of a game of patience. The the most difficult part of this mission has now been complete. Supposed to at least. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so all that we're going to do now is just capture the remaining of the listening posts, get a little bit of a bank up and running, don't venture too far, and just patiently wait until we have made enough money in order to start building some of the things that we need. This land raider is just going to keep on progressing. If you really want to, you can switch back and forth between Chaos and Orcs in order to win some ground. You can even switch to Chaos, sacrifice all of their units and buildings and uh, capture their listening posts. But uh, that that is all just going to take time and resources and uh, nah, we're just going to make do with what we've got. And uh, just, just complete this objective as quickly as we can. So the Eldar are also going to constantly send out attacks to the side. It's usually going to consist of Guardians, Banshees and Dark Reapers. So don't worry too much about it. Our shooters combined with our war tracks are going to be enough. And on top of it all, the war boss is also really powerful. I want to get stuck in with the boys. It's now the old boy that we go. Hello? Who's there? So now that the first bit of the objective has been completed, now I can reveal what our strategy is going to be for this mission. We're going to be upgrading Gretchen Infiltration and then just let a invisible Gretchen run all the way through to the power supply over here, build a settlement right next to it. The settlement will gun down all of the, the, the power supply units and then it will open up the portal for us. All that we have to do afterwards is get a unit through that point and uh, the best unit to do that with will be a mech boss. So right here we're going to be building, um, what do you call it, the boys hut? And then just teleport him through, mission accomplished. Pretty easy, huh? So I'm going to be showing you in this video exactly how to do just that. Don't even waste your money on upgrades or units or anything on that line. Just keep on defending this point. Keep on building listening posts. Because the requisition comes up so slowly, we, we want to speed things up by building listening posts. Did I forget about this one? So once we have secured all of these listening posts, then we should be ready to just bank up for 650 requisition. How much power do we need? 100 and f yeah, we should have 150 by then, I believe. If not, we can just build a power supply. And uh, yeah, just send them straight up. Fortunately, this land raider moves incredibly slow. Yeah, we might as well get the infiltration research up, up and running in the meantime. Jobs are good and boss. You say what's so. it, what's it? We're going. I'm the big boss. So 
not much commentary really to give anymore other than this. If you want to go for the hard approach, all that you're really going to do is make sure that you get a couple of something like tank busters to take care of their vehicles. And uh, maybe just upgrade your... That building... Yeah, maybe just upgrade some of your units here and there. As you can see, the Eldar units die pretty quickly. So you can literally complete this with a couple of shooters and knobs. And uh, once once you've done that, you're just going to run through everything. In order to do that, though, you're going to need requisition. So you have to upgrade your listening post and get the research done. And all of this is going to cost a lot of resources. But you also have to keep in mind that this land raider cannot pass through the gate. So once they capture this critical location over here, just like they, they can in the chaos level, then it's over and done with. So if you want to have fun, you can switch over to chaos, make the units that's necessary in order to beat the land raider. Um, first, you know, get rid of this base with the orcs, because if you take too long, then it's, yeah, you're done for. And then that's that. Okay, so we're going to send this Gretchen squad to this location over here. By the time they get there, we should be pretty close to our requisition requirement. And now it's just a matter of time. Could have taken that strategic point as well, didn't think about it. Or actually, I just missed it. See, their forces aren't that many. They've got a fire prism over here, which can be pretty bothersome to take down because they're effective against all unit types. But for the most part, yeah, there's the Eldar really, really don't have much. The most annoying things I would say are these these fortified listening shrines. I'm not doing anything. Okay, so once we have enough money, when it comes to this, Let's go facing my last battle with filthy aliens like yourself at my side, rather than valiant men like Stern, then appreciate the universe, human. It possesses the strange ability to laugh in the face of our misfortune. Good luck to you. Prepare yourselves, men. Show these aliens the meaning of valor. Indeed, sisters. Stand strong. Show these humans the meaning of dignity. No need for us to worry about that battle at all. all that little cutscene gave us enough time in order to build our settlement. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, build it right next to this location over here. It's out of their reach. So they won't be attacking us and building building this building is gonna take a little bit of time but In the meantime, we can bank up. Uh, it's a good idea for us to just get that research anyways I oh, yeah, yeah, mind you we still need to get a mech So yeah, we need to save up for that We can build a power supply if we want to but Not really Necessary. In the meantime, we can try and go and have some fun. They usually attack from this area over here, so let's just go and have some fun while we're waiting for the settlement to finish up. We can queue the Du Bois hut in the meantime, right over. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. We can't queue it up because we need the settlement. That's that's why you need to build a settlement so that you can build orc units close to... orc buildings close to the area. Which way? 
Now it should also be noted that after these thermoplasmic generators get destroyed and the portal opens up or the gate opens up we have a limited amount of time in order to get through it so don't waste too much time. Doesn't get stated how long it takes. They come to play. Ready for stomping? Here is the fix I'm working on something. Send me to the fight. Let's get Oh, yeah, these shit does are not strong against war fighters at all. This is where it ends. All we need is one unit to get through, and it's gonna be like that. is one of the greatest war machines ever constructed! Wrong, you kid! The greatest war machine is the Orc War! We don't need no damn tinker traption to be strong! We is strong! Listen to them! Screaming with one voice across the whole planet! War! War! You'll regret this, Gorguts. I swear to you, I'll rip the flesh from your bones and eat your eyes! All remaining units, charge the gate! Alright, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a bit of a fact. The greatest war machine is the Orcish Horde, for reasons that are explained in the lore if you're interested in reading. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Definitely stay tuned for the next two upcoming videos where we finally conclude Dawn of War Winter Assault and we get to see the ending from the chaos perspective as well as from the orcs perspective definitely stay tuned and i will see you next time